6.7 release, the new HTML5-based vSphere client offers a redesigned VM storage policies interface. In this video, I will show you several new items and elements of this UI. To demonstrate the new Create VM Storage Policy Wizard, we will define two sample storage policies. In the first example, we will create a storage policy that describes requirements for data services provided by a host. The services might include encryption, I.O. control, replication, and so on, and are offered by software components, either VMware native or third party, that are installed on your host. We start when clicking the Create VM Storage Policy icon. Name the policy, for example, Host-Based Replication Policy. And then, on the Policy Structure page, select the checkbox to enable host-based rules. These rules are used to define requirements for data services installed on the host. Note that in the vSphere web client, these rules are called common rules. We proceed with defining our policy. As you see, in the new vSphere client, we can switch between the tabs to configure different services. In our example, we click Replication and specify the replication parameters. Next, review the Compatibilities data store. The policies for host-based services does not depend on the capabilities that the data stores offer. So the only condition for the data store to be compatible is that it is connected to the host that provides the service, in our case, the replication service. After we finish defining the policy and attach it to a virtual machine, the policy will activate replication for the VM. In the second example, we create a storage policy that describes data store specific rules. These policies are intended for vSAN, virtual volumes, and tag based VMFS or NFS data stores. We start the wizard and name the policy, for example, vVol's replication storage policy. On the Policy Structure page, we enable rules for virtual volume storage in the Data Store Specific Rules category. Data Store Specific Rules must include at least one placement rule. The placement rules describe how the virtual machine objects are allocated within the data store. In our example, we specify the number of read operations per second. In addition to placement, the data source specific rules can describe which services the storage system should provide to the virtual machine. In this example, we select vVol's replication. Note that in contrast with our previous example, the replication service is now offered by the storage system rather than the host. The compatible data stores must satisfy all rules in the storage policy. In other words, Compatible data stores must guarantee the placement and data services requested in the storage policy. When you finish configuring the policy and assign it to a virtual machine, the rules are applied to the VM when it is placed on the vVol's data store. In the last part of the video, we will review the new UI options that you can use to manage existing storage policies. For example, you can select a policy from the list and switch between the tabs to check its details and compliance status. You can click the Rules tab and review the defined placement rules for the policy. You can also check whether the rules include any additional storage-based services. The Storage Compatibility tab lists data stores compatible with the policy. And the VM Template tab shows the templates that use the policy. On the VM Compliance tab, we can list the VMs that are associated with the storage policy and monitor their compliance status. If we see that the compliance status changes, we can remediate this by clicking the Reapply VM Storage Policy icon. This concludes our video. For more details, see the vSphere storage documentation on docs.vmware.com.